Hi everyone, my name is Leon Taylor. Welcome to I Am Team GB Workout Wednesdays. This session is going to be a 20 minute yoga session open to all levels. You don't need to warm up because we're going to use the yoga poses to warm ourselves up. But please look after yourselves. As always with any of these workout Wednesdays, it's up to you to look after yourself. So any of the positions I invite you into, if they don't feel right for you, just skip them, rest at any time, tag your friends, get involved, you know, spread the uh, workout far and wide, and let's get uh, more mobile together this evening. We're gonna start by lying down. So again, wherever you are, make sure you've got enough space around you. I've got a yoga mat here, but you don't actually need one. But it needs to be reasonably comfortable as you lie down on your back. This is a pretty nice way to start any form of activity. And of course, we're gonna move very shortly by lying down on your back, just giving up the weight of your body completely to the floor that you're lying on, and then just for a few moments, settle down. Tune into your breath. So seal your lips and then breathe in and out through the nose, unless of course you've got a nasty cold or anything, and then just breathe. You're not here to make anything more difficult, but if you can, breathing in and out through the nose, and then as you inhale, Fill in the lungs completely, exhale, lengthening both inhalation and exhalation, just settling down. As you inhale, notice the rib cage rise, and then exhale, just turn the head to twist over to look towards the right. So you're dropping the right ear down to the mat, inhale, twist the head back to neutral, and then exhale, turning to look over gently to the left. We're just warming up the neck here, so take it nice and steady, inhale, center. Exhale to the right, inhale back to the center, exhale looking over to the left, inhale center, one more time each side. So it's an inhale that brings you back to looking up at the ceiling and then exhale over to the left, back to neutral. Just gently bend the knees, place the soles of the feet on the floor. We're going to do the same thing but dropping the knees, take it steady. So it's an inhale to prepare, and then an exhale, drop the knees over to the right. They don't need to go very far. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, knees over to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the right. So mobilizing into the hips and the back. Inhale, knees up. Exhale, knees over to the left. Inhale, back up. So making sure you're activated through the core. One more time, exhale over to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, takes us over to the left. Inhale, back to center. Okay, just straighten the left leg and then gently pull the right knee up towards the right side of your rib cage. So, careful here, making sure you're not pinching into the hip. We're working through the digestive system here as well as opening into the hips. Having a lot of tightness, many of us do in our hips, so taking it nice and steady here, never pulling too much, just gently mobilizing and increasing the range. Right leg goes down along your mat if you're on one, or the floor, left knee comes up. So interlace the fingers, probably easier to grab hold of just below the knee, and then pull the left knee up towards the left side of the rib cage. Keep that right foot flexed, making sure the heel of the, uh, of the foot is on the floor, so the leg isn't lifting. And then place the left leg and then bring both knees up in towards the chest. Either grab high over each knee or maybe grabbing opposite elbows. Keep the head on the floor. So if your head's coming up, just release the tuck position a little bit. So you're trying to pull both knees in towards the rib cage, squeezing into the bottom end of the digestive system. One more breath here. And then we're going to rock and roll up and down the spine just three times so to come up to sitting. So massaging, this may not be so comfortable for some of you, so just skip it. And then we'll come up to a seated position. Pull the feet underneath you and tip yourself over and coming into what's known as a tabletop position. So the hands are directly underneath the shoulders. Chin is uh, in a neutral position, so try not to crane into the neck. And then we're just going to warm up in the spine. So lifting the spine up towards the ceiling, tucking the chin in, rounding through, and then inhale, lower the belly, lift up the chin and the chest. They don't need to be big, smooth, big movements, put my teeth back in, but they do need to be 
connected with your breath. So smooth. Inhale. And then releasing back down into a neutral position. Okay, right foot gently points out to the right. Right hand points up to the ceiling. Inhale. And then listen carefully. Exhale, right arm just points gently underneath the body. So you're twisting. Inhale, reach up. We're doing three on this side. And then exhale to twist and reach through with the right hand. Inhale, reach up. Right, crick into the back as I've just done. And then exhale, right hand points under. Back down into that neutral position. Left foot points out. Inhale, left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, left hand reaches underneath. So we're just gently twisting into the body. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist, left hand underneath. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, twist underneath. Okay, back down into that neutral position. So curl the toes under, push your hips back towards your heels and then stick your backside up in the air into your best version of an upside down V, so downward facing dog. So backside as high as you can, have a bend in the knees, heels hover, fingers are spread wide, maybe just gently shaking the head, no, nodding the head, yes, releasing any tension in the cervical spine up into the neck, maybe pedaling the feet left and right, noticing where there might be a bit of tightness today and then walking the feet up towards your hands, bend the knees, chest on the thighs, grab hold of the opposite elbows, let the head hang down into what's known as ragdoll, and you can gently start, make sure your knees are bent here, even those of you with really open hamstrings, just gently moving into the hamstrings, the hips lengthening through the entire spine, so relaxing down, and then inhale, rolling up chin will be last to lift, Whew. taking your time when you get there, roll the shoulders and then get ready to step out in this direction. So we're going to start to move a little bit more into the hips now, so a big step out to the right and then when I say big step we're all different sizes right, so the best way to pick it is your wrists will be over your ankles, turn the right toes to point forwards, palms face this direction and gaze towards the right thumb. Inhale and then exhale, stretch forward and then gently place the right hand on the right shin, left hand points up and turn the head and eyes slowly to look up to the left hand. If that's uncomfortable then just lower the gaze a little bit. So trying to open the side of the body here if you'd like to hover the right hand in front of the right shin that activates a little bit deeper, strengthening as well as stabilising. Turn the head down to look towards the right big toe and then inhale to lift back up. Okay, right toes in, left toes turn out, gazing towards the left thumb this time. Inhale, create space and then exhale, stretch forward, left hand, left shin, right hand points up. So you're in triangle pose. If you're twisting forward like this, try and stack the shoulders as if you're in a toaster. Probably the best way of visualising the position of the body. Eyes gaze up. And then you come back to your breath. So often when we concentrate, we tend to hold our breath. So continuously breathing slowly with control in and out through the nose. Turn the head down, look towards the left big toe as we lift up. Okay, left toes in, right hand on the lower back, left hand points up. And then spin around on your heels to face in the direction forward, so the hips are facing forward, so you're standing on a plank of wood rather than a tightrope, so if you need to move that uh, right foot out then do that, inhale lift up the chest, exhale left hand simply slides down the right shin and find a point where you can keep both legs straight, so maybe your hand goes on your right foot, right ankle or maybe somewhere more comfortable and then start to twist and look towards the ceiling maybe, so the right shoulder is stacked on the left or certainly in the opposite direction, so you're looking over the right hip. Eyes can gaze up, a rotated triangle, and then slowly untwist. Place both hands on your right shin to stabilise yourself, hands on the hips, inhale, lift up, always activating the core, and then turn back to face towards the front. Left hand, lumbar spine, right hand up, and then rotate on your heels, 
facing in the opposite direction. So the left foot is forward, left hand on the lower back. Inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, tip forward this time. Right hand, left shin, maybe left foot, left ankle, whatever works for you, allowing you to twist the body open. So you'll be looking in the same direction, but the other leg is forward. Maybe the head and eyes turn up to look towards the ceiling. Maybe the left hand points up. Only point the left hand up if the shoulders are stacked. Just keep the left hand on the lumbar spine. And slowly untwist. Steady yourself. Both hands on the left shin. Inhale, lifting up. And turn to face towards the front of the room that you're in. Place the hands on the, on the hips. Move the feet a little bit wider. Inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, tip forward. And then place your hands on the floor. So wide leg forward bend. If you can't get your hands on the floor, just place them on the shins or maybe have your feet a little bit wider and then you can start to move down. So choice of hand positions here. Just on the floor is fine. Try not to round through the spine, try and lengthen through. If you're more flexible, then maybe you can start to move down a little deeper, but never resting your head along the floor. Keep the hands there or on the ankles, head hangs down. And find your breath again. Hands on the hips. Inhale, lift up. Take a moment there. Exhale, arms out to the side. And then just step back to where we started. You might need to shake that off. We'll start to work a little deeper into the hips now. So Inhale, arms above the head, exhale, big step out as we did previously, right toes turn out, palms face down this time as you move into warrior two. So bending the right knee, the right knee stays over the right ankle, the right shoulder is over the right hip and the chin will be floating above the tailbone. You gaze forward towards the middle finger of the right hand and of course we stop moving the body but we always continue to breathe in and out through the nose. Holding this pose, and then straighten the right knee, turn the right toes in, left toes turn out, gaze towards the middle finger of the left hand this time, and then sink down into your warrior two on the other side. So once again, left knee is over the left ankle, overshooting can be a bit strenuous on the knee, so be careful here. Left shoulder is over the left hip, so if you find yourself doing your best superman or superwoman, just gently pull yourself back. You might need to get some feedback from a mirror or watch this back if, uh, if you need some other tips. Eyes gaze softly forward. Nice long hold here. Breathing in and out through the nose. And then straighten the left knee. Turn the left toes back to face forward. And we're doing that wide leg forward bend again. So place the hands on the hips. Inhale, lift up and exhale, tip forward. This time, placing your hands underneath your knees if you can get them there, trying to work your head a little closer to the floor. Of course, any of the options that we've already done is perfect. Those of you that are used to this, only try it if it's in your practice. Have a little play at a tripod headstand. Only do this if you're familiar with it and you've got the space. Just a little bit of fun. But many of us and all of us should stay here in our wide leg forward bend, whatever that is for us. Relaxing through the neck wherever you are, unless you're in headstand. So if you're in headstand, coming back out. And then walking the hands towards the left foot, turning on the foot, or the left foot, bumping up onto the toes of the back foot. Stepping back into the top of a push-up position, drop the knees, point the toes. Exhale, lower the chest all the way down to the floor. Keep the toes pointed, inhale, lift, the chest, low cobra. Exhale, curl the toes under, push the hips back to the heels and then back into that upside down V, your downward facing dog. Upside down again, walking the feet up towards the hands. Inhale, hands on shins, look forward, half lift. Exhale, knees bent, head hangs down. Inhale, reach up, stand up, eyes gaze up, palms together. And then exhale, arms down by your side. Okay, so being a little bit warmer now, we're going to do a few flows just to get the blood pumping even more. So stay with me. Bend the knees, reach up. Chair pose. Exhale, tip forward. Knees bent, head hangs down. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, step back, top of a push-up position. Drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, lower down, chest to the floor. Inhale, low cobra or upward facing dog. Be careful of your back. And exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot comes forward in between your hands. Inhale, reach up, crescent lunge or warrior one. Hands down, right foot back. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Straight away, the left foot comes forward. Inhale, reach up, crescent lunge or warrior one. Hands down either side of the left foot, left foot back. Exhale, lower down, chest to the floor. Inhale, smoothly upward facing dog or low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's keep that going. Right foot forward, get the blood moving around the body. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down, foot back, lower down, chest to the floor. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Left foot forward straight away. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down, left foot back, lower down, chest to the floor. Inhale, low cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time. Right foot forward. You've got this. Inhale, reach up. Crescent lunge, warrior one. Exhale, 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 exhale. All the way down. Make sure those toes are pointed on an upward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, downward. Left foot forward. This is the last one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down. Lowering down with control. Elbows brushing by the ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog, good. Just gently shake through the head, pay off all the feet, and breathe. Just letting that go. Dropping down onto the knees if you need to, of course, at any time taking a child's pose, just to rest, relax, and let that go. In fact, everyone come down to a child's pose and just do that now. The head is below the heart. Maybe have the knees a little bit wider. Whatever you need to do to find a comfortable pose where the head is below the heart. to a kneeling position. Okay, final few minutes of the class now. We're going to stay on the mat. So just bring the feet forwards and then we're moving into the boat. So it looks like this, placing the hands underneath the knees, opening the chest and holding here. You can always add to this by straightening the arms or straightening the legs as well, whatever you need to do. Five, four, nice slow count, three, remember the options, two and one. Pull the ankles in towards your backside and lift up if you can and then come straight back in. Doesn't matter if you can't do that, we're just having a mini break, five, into the second and final set. Four, three, two, and one. Lie down gently on your back. Keep the knees bent, knees, knees pointing up towards the ceiling, feet flat on the floor. The right foot comes across the left knee and be careful with the right knee here. This might be enough. We're moving into a gentle glute stretch if you can. Hands come through and you pick up the left, behind the left knee. The shin is parallel to the ceiling. Just be really careful here with your knee. We're just stretching into the glutes here. So eye of the needle or a gentle glute stretch and then swap sides. Outside blade of the left foot or left ankle on the right knee. And this could be quite strong for some of us, especially if you do a lot of other activity, a lot of running, weightlifting, whatever it might be. So just be careful here as you start to move in. You can always use the left elbow to push into the left knee to create a bit more space if that's available to you. And then slowly release. Keep the knees bent, feet where they are, and just finish with a final twist. So dropping the knees over to the right, lying on your right hand side, and then just open up the chest to look up towards the ceiling, and maybe the left hand reaches over towards the left hand side of the room. And you just gently twist into the entire spine. And then untwist, 
back to the centre, and then the knees drop over to the left, and you roll over onto your left shoulder, and then just open up the chest as you reach the right hand towards the right hand side of the room. Almost there, this is the final exercise, final pose. Just neutralising, setting the every, everything down. And then gently back into centre. Gently pull the knees in towards the chest. Straighten both legs out and this is it. You're in your final Shavasana, dead body pose, corpse pose. So just staying here. I'll stay here with you for a full minute. Of course you can stay for longer. If you're practicing yoga regularly, this is probably the best part of the class. So take your time here, but I'm just going to stay with you here in your Shavasana for another 30 seconds, the most important part of the practice, just letting everything settle down. If there's any residual tension melts away, and you let everything go. Make sure you stay here for the full minute at the very least. Keeping the eyes closed, just pull the knees up towards the chest and then just roll over onto the side, doesn't matter which side. Resting there for a few breaths. And then slowly coming back up to a seated position. So thanks for joining me everyone, that was a 20 minute yoga class here on Workout Wednesdays, I am Team GB. Tag your friends, let us know what you want to see more of, and share it widely, and I'll see you again very soon for more Workout Wednesdays.